Hi Taurus, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. Happy birthday. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminines, Mars, and the Masculines, Venus. Today is May 1st. Happy May, you guys, 2020. The read is for the first half of May. And I've already pre-shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times, and then we're going to get going. I did want to bring this for you, too, a little bit, too. Take a deep breath, you guys. Just a little bit of clearing. Okay, so for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all these concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn for Taurus today? All right, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's clear all negative, dark, and viral energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all these concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light, and so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Taurus, just a couple more. All right, so Taurus, for the first half of May 2020, Taurus, 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 Taurus. All right, first card out for you guys is the Ten of Cups reversed. What is your challenge? We have the Knight of Cups reversed. And what is your foundation? The Nine of Swords. What's in the recent past for Taurus is the Knight of Wands. And what is crowning in your now moment? The Emperor reversed. Let me pull these down just a little bit. And what's coming up for you guys? The Knight of Swords. You have a lot of night energy here, guys. And you see yourself as the chariot reverse. You may be feeling stuck, uh, maybe dealing with a lot of the restrictions right now. And then what's around you or how might others see you? You have the moon. So you have two cancer energies. You have a lot of cancer around you right now, Taurus. And the blocks that you need to work on are clear is the star. All right, so you may not like to be in the in the spotlight or have attention and then where do we end up we end up the four of wands that's beautiful all right the connection to whatever's left hanging in limbo at the end of the read your connection is the four of pentacles so holding on to something and then what is left hanging in limbo at the end of the read we have the hierophant which is your energy taurus all right, you'll get another card too at the end, but you just won't get it right now. It may be more than one card, depending on what that next card is. And then we have the underlying energy. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, guys. That's beautiful. I'm going to give you a little backstory on that, and then we're going to get going. All right, let's see here. All right. So we have the, the High Priestess reversed here. And for me, that's, that's about um, the need to use your intuition more or that a secret's come out, perhaps a secret passion. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The four, we have four knights showing now. You have three knights out on the table. And then we have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Two of Wands reversed and then the Wheel of Fortune upright. So with this secret out or your need to use your intuition, and I'm getting more about a secret coming out because you have the Knight of Pentacles right afterwards and he's going forward in a positive way and then you have the wheel upright, which was coming up reversed in my Divine Masculine read today. So this is really good for you guys. This is about seeing synchronicities, having options or choices, but these are all beautiful ones in this deck. Um, perhaps a little bit of confusion because there's so many good options, but um, it can be really about seeing heaven in your eyes as well, seeing your dreams as actual possibilities. And this is then feeling like you have no options or you've chosen a new path, but you can't, you feel like you can't implement it right now. However, the wheel is now upright. So there's definitely good, good momentum going forward here with the Knight of Pentacles because they're going forward in a very steady way. And then... Sorry about my phone. I was just texting with someone. Let's see here. All right, I'm 
going to clarify everything. This is the, the Gilded Tarot, and I'm going to clarify with the Rider Waite Mini, and I'm going to pull some Oracle cards at the end as well. Again, for those of you just tuning in, this is for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Above that is the Knight of Wands. That's beautiful energy going forward with passion in the recent past, feeling like everything's going forward again, that you have some kind of forward momentum now. The foundation, there's definitely some suffering and silence there. Could be feeling stressed out. You could not be sleeping well. Could be up night purging. But that's, you know, there's, uh, it could be ruminating, you know, over and over in your mind is making you nuts. But it's interesting because it looks like that is a blessing in disguise, all right? Because that's next to the Wheel of Fortune, okay? But it also may, may be making you feel stuck because of all the restrictions going on right now. The central energy is the Ten of Cups reversed. So there may have been an ending of a cycle, of a family cycle or emotional cycle. It could literally be the ending to a family, but it also could be the ending to unhappiness of a family. And the challenge being the Knight of Cups reversed, which can be jealousies, it can be feeling rejected, it can be insincerity, refusing to give or receive love or just refusing to be loved at all. Um, in your present now moment, you have the emperor reversed, which is someone who can be out of control or could just be, you know, an older person in your life having a bad day, right? Or ending a family cycle is a big thing. So the emperor's reversed. There could be an older person or a boss that's stepping down or perhaps, yeah, it could be like the, the helm of the family. Whoever's the patriarch of the family could be stepping down or maybe they're just ill so they can't do what they used to do. We have the ace of cups coming up as I'm talking about the emperor. So the Hermit Reverse is someone who could be over-isolating, but perhaps offering a lot of love from home or now coming out. We have the Queen of Cups Reverse too. So you could have been hibernating a bit, but like it's like people, someone sending love from home, like we send our regards. We're sending a lot of love to the past. Okay, but it's really beautiful energy there, but they're reversed. So let's get let's start from the beginning and see why that is. Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune and the underlying energy? Well, this just fell out. Someone is letting go, right, after holding on, letting go, perhaps to fix things up around the house or make repairs. So find, instead of holding on and being scared or worried, now finding a way to make good use of your time or perhaps making amends with other people. And then we have the King of Swords upright, and there, there's the Seven of Cups upright again. So this is seeing synchronicities or having a lot of options, but seeing the one that you want. The King of Swords is very uh, resolute here. May not have a lot to spend right now, but perhaps wants to buy something and has found exactly what you want. So some of you could be shopping online. And for, with the Seven of Cups card, that could be shopping for something sparkly too. For some of you out there, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords upright. The Knight of Wands is upright. And there we have the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel upright again. And then the Lovers is reversed. And that can have to do with indecision or it could just be no, no affection right now. But because somebody's focusing on learning a new trade perhaps or a new job or putting together some invitations or just researching their opportunities. Somebody's getting physically busy too. Uh, don't mind my appearance if you see me. I was just out running, so. Um, so this Knight of Wands may have just been out running too. But it's really about, uh, it could be child energy with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Someone's being a good student, getting their work done, and then they're allowed to go out and play, right? Go do something more physical. But it is a, uh, a very positive turn of events forward and perhaps you're in need of some affection. So now you want to go out and find some affection. And we have Libra upright and Gemini reversed there on that card. And the Knight of, of Wands for me is definitely Sagittarius energy. So we have Libra in the underlying energy. We have the Emperor, which is Aries, Sagittarius. Um... The Knight of Cups, I don't usually peg that card as a certain energy. 
It really can be any cup's energy or anyone. It doesn't have to be a water sign. But we have um, we have two Cancer cards here, Aquarius and then Taurus up there. So your energy as well. But you have Cancer in your, if either you have Cancer in your chart or there's some major Cancer around you. So maybe more than one person in your energy that's Cancer. Or maybe somebody's dealing with Cancer in your environment as well. So we have the Nine of Swords in your foundation. Why is that? Why is the Nine of Swords in your foundation? All right, so you have the Devil reversed and the Star reversed. This could be dealing with depression as, a, as an addiction, like an addiction to depression. Um, it can be any kind of detoxing that you're doing, uh, having to do with loss of hope or wanting more attention, like, like too much neediness of needing to be the star and detoxing that energy. So whether it's depression or any kind of codependency or addiction, it's about trying to get rid of it, but in order to get rid of it, you have to go through the worst of it first, love yourself, and that's how it all releases. So you're going through that purging process, but it's destined and it's supposed to happen. You're ending the pain by going through the pain, allowing it. So that can also be getting massages and things like that when I get the Ten of Swords card. It doesn't always have to be about um, really bad endings. It could be someone who deals with pain for, for a living as well. You could be giving someone in your house a massage or, you know, so you could be getting acupuncture, all those kind of things come up with that card. But it has to do with ending addictions and depression, perhaps. With suffering and silence, definitely can be some depression going on there. And that can be a, um, a dark night issue as well. So we have the Ten of Cups reversed. And we have the King of Wands upright. And again, the Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords upright for me is more like an acute suffering situation. And this is chronic. So it may have been ongoing and maybe something new popped up, but this could be someone else who's going through chronic suffering for a long time. And then all of a sudden you, as this energy, all of a sudden started having the same type of energy issues or depression or dark night of the soul. Okay. So this is about someone suffering, but he's good now. He looks like he could be coming out of it. And if you're that person, then you're coming out of it. If you're on the other side of it. You could be someone who's just starting that, and I'm losing my voice. So someone's not speaking up their truth. All right, see? The Queen of Swords is just going into it. The Queen of the King of Swords is coming out of a depression or a dark night of the soul, and the Queen of Swords is now entering into it. So whatever they just went through, it looks like you're starting to go through that as, as well. So you could be either one. The King and Queen of Swords can be, one can be Taurus, one doesn't have to be Taurus, and neither one of them may be you. You may just be experiencing this around you. But this is coming up on the, um, here with these guys here. Yeah. So either, yeah, it looks more like the Queen of Swords is the one going through a hard time. But I think the King of Swords has come out of it recently. I'd also, could the breakup of the family can be between the King and Queen of Swords because they're opposite directions. And so that could be you as well. Let's see what the challenge is here. Why do we have the Knight of Cups reversed? All right, we have the, the Temperance card and the Seven of Wands. This is about being patient, taking things one step at a time, being balanced back and forth, dance, doing the dance between the masculine and the feminine energies. And then this is standing up for yourself. So learning how to stand up for yourself without getting triggered and getting knocked off balance one step at a time. Um, so there may be some someone either it's you or the other person somebody's needs to fend other people out of their energy like someone might have jealous people around them and they have to fend them off so i don't know which side of that you're on but you're feeling kind of broken right here so we have the queen of pentacles over here too all right as part of this energy so either you have sagittarius in your energy or you're struggling with a sagittarius person who's being very patient the queen of pentacles is upright as well but there's jealousy or rejection around you or insincerity or someone's deemed as insincerity. But we're dealing with a family here, all right? With the emperor reversed at the helm and he may be going through some suffering. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles can definitely be you. Let's, so let's go to the knight. Let me get you guys first. So why is Taurus... Hold on one second. Why is Taurus the chariot reversed? 
All right, we have the moon reversed again, another Cancer energy, and the two of cups. So it definitely looks like some kind of disconnect or breakup. So it doesn't have to be a romantic breakup, but it can be. This can be a, a family breakup, a friend breakup, a business partnership breakup, but because of deception here. All right, so some kind of deception or breakdown. Someone might have had a mental breakdown since we're having depression come up here. It can be someone who feels broke, broken, broke down, broke up, broke through, any of those energies. The chariot's also about delays or cancellations in travel or moves. Um, but this definitely looks like some kind of like one-on-one -on -one breakup that's involved with a family. So if it's romantic, it is. If it's not, you know, it could be siblings not seeing eye to eye, anything like that. But now we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So it's definitely having to do you both family cards now reversed. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. So it could be um, a wealthy family or this could be a family that's also related to the business that you do. Or they could be two separate entities, but this could be, you know, wealthy family, business, legacy, community, government, big hospitals, things like that. But it's reversed. So it's either someone spending money, losing money, or dysfunction within this family business or community, okay? So either which way, it's a loss, some kind of loss of energy, right? Because it's not being replenished. And then we have the Three of Cups reverse, which has to do with the social distancing, but also could be third party energies, but I'm not getting any threes coming up. So it's more about the social distancing or just no social life. And just, are, you know, being stuck with family all day, so getting in more arguments. And why do we have the, the moon around you upright? This is feeling left out in the cold, exile, destitution, people kicked out of something, whether it's a school, whether it's an organization, your house, um, or just people leaving the, doc the doctor's office, going back for a lot of hospital visits or office visits, but also can be um, any kind of injury or illness involved, but just feeling you know, destitute in some way. It doesn't have to be financial. But this is also someone then sharing. Maybe someone's back open again. So you're very happy about that. Whether you're the person um, at the new moon, mate, or maybe the full moon, you can open up again to see people, your customers, if you've had to close your business down. Someone may be very eager to get back to work or just to help people that they haven't been able to help. Um, and the moon is just very shadowy energy. It's not, you know, it's about not being clear yet. Some things may come to light, but you don't have the full picture yet. So it's all cancer here. And someone might be going back to see if their cancer is gone. All right, so let's see where else we go. We have the Knight of Swords right there. Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, we have the Page of Swords. It's all about rushing in with the truth, spreading the word, communications. But they are of a positive nature. And there's a lot of passion behind it with growth as well. After feeling trapped, someone might be excited to get out and talk. All right, so we have the Page of Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So Page is more, you know, like emails and messages like that, or just a child, a younger child. And then we have the Knight of Swords. It could be two children as well, just really eager to get their word out or to talk because they've been muzzled or just stuck in the house without anyone to talk to. They just can't wait to get out and socialize. So... What is the block for Taurus? Why do we have the star card there? Well, the Ten of Cups reverse, which is in the center of your read here, is the reason for your block here. Um, unhappiness in the family or ending a family or emotional cycle of unhappiness. So depression is definitely a theme here in this read. And then we have the Five of Wands reverse, which is ending the battle or, or um, like a no-win situation, like It's just like a battle that's not worth fighting for. And this can be with an Aquarius energy. But the block has to do with having your dreams come true, having shine your light, be healed. And perhaps you always thought that um, your dreams would only come true with this family situation or this emotional situation. But apparently there's been a lot of fighting, so it's like the only way of ending the fighting is by letting go of this situation. 
but you need to get your past your block towards about being seen in the spotlight. To be seen as a healer or being seen as a star, being seen as someone who has your dreams come true, that's a block for you. You don't think you deserve it or you're afraid of the spotlight. So you need to get past those fears. So that could be a wound that you work on. You also have high priestess. Maybe you have a fear of being seen as a psychic because you are, but you're afraid for anyone to know or you're afraid to the, for the public to know because you're afraid that you may not be seen in the right way. And this is someone who's keeping it to themselves, who knows, who knows things but keeps it to themselves. All right, so there's your blocks, Taurus. has to do with being in the spotlight, psychic healing, um, and maybe you have a block about psychic healers that you need to get past because you deem them as less than or liars or gypsies, right? That could be a wound that you have. So you end up there with the four of wands. Four of wands is justice reversed and then the six of wands upright. So there may be some kind of injustice going on. Something's not fair. Perhaps that you're seeing others lead the way while someone else, while you're being left behind or this energy is being left behind. So this is Libra energy. And there could be a very stable home right here. But there's some injustice there at home or whatever stability there is, the structure. And this is referencing this, this emperor reverse, which could be this Libra energy as well. But there's an injustice or somebody could be going through a divorce, but you have to live together while you're divorcing. And then you have the page of wands as, as well. So somebody might be doing really well. It could even be a child who's doing really well, but the adult is frustrated. Oh, that's very interesting because in the Divine Masculine read, there was a, the, um, the older Sagittarius was very frustrated, but the younger Sagittarius was raring to go. So that could, be, that could be that energy here as well. This could be somebody getting back in the saddle again after some kind of injustice leading the way or good news comes in after injustice and now someone's really inspired. That can be a child or it just can be the act of you being inspired or this person. Right, because that does not have to be you. So why do we have the Four of Pentacles after that for Taurus? Well, we have the Page of Cups up right here. You're getting a lot of upright cards with the characters. Everybody seems to be good spirits. This is can be um, a child who's a water sign or just someone who's very lovey-dovey all the time. Or um, it can also be a message of love or puppy love even. But it's really unconditional pure love. You know, that really beautiful love of a child that knows nothing but love but they could be clingy. Maybe it's someone who want, like, loves a, to give you attention and maybe you don't always want their attention. It's getting on your nerves. All right, so somebody might be holding on too tightly. And then we have the Hierophant there at the end. And why is that? That's your energy. So at home, if somebody's holding on or trying to cling to uh, their, their parents, you know, when their parents are busy doing other things. Or someone's trying to save money or cling to their money and they don't want kids nagging them for anything. Maybe they're just kissing up to you because they want something. So there's that four of wands and then the five of swords. So here's that happy home, right? But yet this could be the virus trying to get into the home or literally other people, someone else trying to get in. And there's the queen of wands reversed. So someone might be out of this situation who's pissed about it, perhaps trying to get back in, or this is someone who wants revenge. So that could be as well, but that could be you, Taurus, because of a heartbreak or separation. All right, could be because of egos or because of an awakening as well. But if you're not, if you're not that queen of wands reverse, Taurus, you need to watch out for them. Or if you are that person, I would think twice about wanting revenge with anyone for anything in your life because that's being in victim mentality. It's about us taking responsibility for the energies we draw into our energy and seeing that it's just a mode for us to see what our internal wounds are that we can't see in order to bring them up from our subconscious to see them, be conscious of them, and then can release them and we won't pull that kind of energy into our field anymore. So whatever wounds that you've grown up with are being shown to you through the situation for you to see what's in your subconscious that you're not aware of. So uh, the next cards that were coming up for you guys, and it was more than one, 
is the three of pentacles reversed. So there could be some issues at work or the place of co-creation. This could be a third party situation through work, um, or it could be just losing money like a lot of businesses are right now at work because of the COVID situation. And then we have the fool. So somebody's free to leap and they're very happy about it. Then we have the justice card. This is very powerful. This is freedom and justice for all. So someone's definitely doing a little dance about being free. So there could be, uh, have been a divorce situation in the past. So we have the Hierophant upright, which can represent a marriage or can represent um, a business, an establishment, a religion, a Taurus person. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It can just represent that Taurus. So maybe the Taurus is in the home and the Queen of Wands is not in the home, so she's mad because she lost the home. So that could be one situation, but there's several scenarios here, as you can tell. But um, someone might have gotten the home, someone might have gotten the business, or there's just that downturn in business, which actually then frees them to do some other things, perhaps pursue a divorce or finish up the paperwork and finally split everything up so they don't have to live with each other anymore. So that could be a, a situation here. So why do we have the three of pentacles there reversed? The Knight of Wands is reversed there. This is, could be a player energy. Someone playing the field or got played or falling short on energy with good intentions initially, but fell short. Or it could be someone holding back their passions as well. And that could definitely be third party through work. And this is someone with no options. They had no options but to do what they were doing or hold back. And then we have kids or just exposing all. A Leo energy. Um, people that you're dealing with at work, perhaps you're dealing with a Sagittarius reverse and a Leo upright, so a lot of fire energy. And then who's free here? With the Fool, that's Aries energy. And then we have Libra, Taurus up there. Again, we have Aquarius and a lot of Cancer in your read, as well as Aries and Libra. So the Fool comes up again, upright. And they're after coming clean or getting clean, they're free. All right, free of jealousy, free of insincere, insincere people, free of rejection, free of people who won't give or receive love, free. All right, so this fool is free, and it looks like it's coming from the Taurus, but we also have Libra here. So they could be, Libra could be free from the Taurus energy and be very happy about it. So why do we have justice at the end here? I love that this is justice and liberty for all, literally. Uh, this is somebody starting over in love, no longer bored or apathetic, um, offering the truth at work, or the truth of trying to align with your true desires, perhaps getting your ducks in a row, getting organized, or trying to get organized while someone else is trying to present you with the truth. And the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is here. So that could be a Libra dealing with the King of Cups, or the Libra could be the King of Cups. But the King of Cups is coming up as not satisfied because they had to hold back an announcement. So they may need to, to announce still what's going on in their life, or this could be someone who had to eat their words. This could be an Aquarius who had to eat their words. So then we end up with the bottom card being that three of pentacles, which below that was someone who was sovereign, the state of emergency, somebody was sovereign, and then their world fell apart. And it could be due to a Taurus, the establishment, a religion, a marriage, and this could be a marriage and a workplace. This could literally be a church with the priest or whoever, you know, whatever kind of religion you are. This can represent that establishment. So once you were, you were independent, right, initially when this hit with the state of emergency, and then your world fell apart, or this could be this, a sealed divine feminine in another world, that could be someone, someone um, dropped all their burdens, felt broke down, broke down, depressed, and then became sovereign. It could, this could be the sealed divine feminine in another world. 
and then this being like formed religion and how these are two separate things. And so someone might have broken away from a church or broken away from a marriage or establishment or a big company, right, or a government agency. There's some kind of breaking away from each other because of belief systems were very opposite or different, okay? But we end up with this place of work, co-creation. This could be a church, a school, uh, an art center, anything really. But that's the underlying energy coming into this read. So it's definitely a separation. It can even can be separation of church and state. And I'm going to pull you some. Um, I'm going to pull you some oracle cards too. We're going to start with the energy deck. This is for Taurus. So what does Taurus need to know about this read? What was the purpose for this read for, for Taurus? You are still feeling very affected by this state of emergency if you are the Taurus. So the only Taurus outright energy for you is here. So we didn't have, I don't remember seeing the Empress come out. And the Hierophant. It's like there's not a lot of Taurus energy because there's a lot of other people that are going, are, you're dealing with. It's possible too that you could be a Taurus who has cancer, has been dealing with and is going for a medical test to see if it's gone. But there's definitely depression issues here as well. Um, and there's a Capricorn energy right next to Aquarius over here. And Aquarius is your block. So let's see here. What is the message for Taurus here? Well, caring connections. All right, we also, which is a beautiful card, but are you being, are you giving too much away and not taking care of yourself? There's a man holding a heart, which is 45, and a caring connection, but he looks sad, you see? So there's some depression on the masculine's part. 14 is the temperance card of patience and balance, and the 45 is the grieving card. Someone's grieving a relationship here. Okay, could be, and this is 14 and patient, so it could literally be about a patient. So it could be a doctor and their patient. And then we have the underlying energy here is 32, which is the journey. And this is about um, the door to spirit, but allowing that purifying energy to come in. So you might want to, if you do, if you meditate, you might want to bring in the white light to purify your body and your aura, as well as your home, your community, the world. So bring that really purifying white light into your world. And it's coming up a lot now, too, because people have been doing this in the spiritual community. So a lot of energies have been cleared. All right. So these two cards also came up. We have the man holding a coin, 43, which is the three of cups of coming together and then walking away, 27, which is the ace of wands. All right. So somebody, somebody coming in, there could be two different situations here. This could be someone who's coming in. But he's all about business. It's, this isn't a man with a heart, right? We have a man with a heart over here who's interested in a real relationship. But here's a man holding a coin. And then here's someone running the other way. Because, like, if you're offering me, like, finances, I'm not interested in that. Or this could be someone who's been with someone who's all about money and is now walking away because they want to pursue their own dreams. Maybe they stuck around for them to have their dreams and now it's time for them to leave and find their own way because they want love. They don't want this, okay? But also with the love here is depression, which you don't want either, but there is caring connection here. Maybe just some things need to be worked out, right? Does it have to be one or the other? No. This, per this could be one person who has depression issues when it comes to their emotions and relationships, but they're really solid when it comes to finances. But now somebody's walking away, but there's also this very deep connection, whether it's this person or somebody else. Okay. It also could be that this woman has another man, right? Maybe she was with this person. And she wants to go to this person or this person and go to this person, but she looks like she's out of here to follow her own dreams. She's got a new passion. Okay. So the journey is about finding your true passion, the door to spirit, you know, connecting to your true authentic self and what it is that makes you happy. What is your path? 
And don't base Taurus. It looks like you're basing your life on everybody else. So it's a call for Taurus to stop worrying about everybody else's connections, right? Is everyone else okay? And focus on what makes you happy. And you may be this and making everybody else around you happy, but you're depressed. Maybe you have it really good and your, your business is good, but your heart is sad. You're not happy. And now someone's walking away from you because you didn't pay attention to what you really wanted or to them. So it can go both ways. But either way, Taurus, you know, you got two men, one with the heart and one with the money, right? So you need, to, you need to decide what you want from your life, what's most important to you, and who are you? Do you know who you are because you've been focusing on other people and their happiness, not really paying attention to yourself? I want to pull from the Kipper deck, too. Let's see what we got here. So let's see here, Taurus. We have despair and journey. Again, there's a masculine energy who's, who's worried about work and may be leaving for a new journey. This is about the 32 is the six of wands, you know, looking for the good in this and starting anew, starting over. So they may be insecure right now because they might have just left a, a job or a relationship and need to find new work. All right, so that's coming up more as the masculine energy, but the feminine may be very inspired to get out there. All right, the feminine may be... This could be for, this 38 is the Queen of Cups, so it's, it seems more feminine there, but so feminine energy working very hard, but there could be a reversal of fortune here, because this is sudden wealth reversed. So sudden wealth may have all of a sudden been taken away, which changed your circumstances, but no longer concerned about something. So that could be a health problem that's no longer concerning, or no affection and no longer concerned about it, okay? So either whatever the end is, it's no longer concern, it's time for people to go their own ways, we do have very positive energy in here. You have two of the three knights are upright and going forward, plus the knight of pentacles upright there. You have the wheel upright. You have the four of wands there, which is stability and union energy. It can be a very happy home, but may just be with your kids or by yourself or with a new partner. Um, you, this, the emperor is reversed, so maybe you have to think, now take care of an elder that you didn't have to take care of before, or perhaps someone passed away and that changed the whole dynamic of your family because maybe they were the glue that stuck everyone together because they liked to talk and communicate and maybe other people in the family were more to themselves. They didn't like to be in the spotlight. So there may just be a whole change in that dynamic of how the family flows. Okay. Um, what else did I want to bring? Oh yeah, my my crystal angels. <sighs> All right, last card for Taurus. What is your advice, Taurus? What is your advice? What is your advice? What is your advice? I'm getting a little sweaty here. A lot of masculine energy coming in here. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Kyanite. Make, take time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. All right, so this is confirming what I was saying to you. So you may have been focusing on other people and not making yourself happy. Right, thinking that making everyone else happy would make you happy, but it, it didn't because you weren't following your own authentic higher self. So you need to connect with your higher self and know who you are and then take time for self-care. You also have love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you, Rose Quartz. Okay, so that's a nice energy. And then Angelite to the bottom of the deck. Spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. Okay, so like that came up in the, in the read as well. So it's just finding out who you are, not staying with something that doesn't resonate with who you are for the rest of your life. 
All right, Taurus, I hope that was helpful. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest, your joy, and your nature. And as always, guys, rise and be loved. Be good to yourselves. Talk to you soon.